uh, you will recall that South Africa is hosting uh, the BRICS summit uh, in, 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 in Johannesburg and therefore we are undertaking road shows for the provinces. And now it is time for Eastern Cape as we seek to showcase the good work that has been done that investors can take interest in. Because one of the critical reasons why South Africa joined the BRICS was mainly to ensure that we can be able to exchange in terms of trade, political and security matters. And therefore Eastern Cape has a story to tell this is one we them here. Of course, uh, it's the Premier next to me, it's the Executive Mayor as the host. We have Emmy Simbogo also, who is responsible for economic development, finance and tourism in the Eastern Cape. We also have a um, representative of Russia in terms of the embassies. Uh, we have Brazil online, we have India online and China online too. Uh, when you look at it from an investment promotion, but with a couple of projects that we are currently doing now, handing over our roads with Sandra, you can say that our province is becoming a construction site. Wherever you go, you see a lot of work that is being done on improving our road network. Because we need to look at that and improve the logistics. And we want to get uh, Bulembu Airport as our cargo hub, and we are working towards that. Uh, we were piloting it with UAE and landing big. Uh, uh, air buses there. So we are continuing with that project because we've got to get it done. So the chairman of Mercedes Benz said they started this project 26 years ago where they were looking at one of these airports around it becoming international airports so that it's easy for logistics, fly, cargo from Germany to here, etc. So we are working on that project and we are going to make it a point that we use it. So this kind of initiatives, thank you very much Minister for giving us another opportunity of this nature uh, so that we participate on this uh, preparation towards the BRICS summit. We are looking forward to the BRICS summit. Uh, we are looking forward in securing more investors coming on our shores and investing to change the social economic outlook of our province. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so sorry. Tulisile Mapawana from Agua FM. Just, I was about to ask what you um, cl closed um, with um, saying. I just wanted to know, for someone who doesn't know at home what BRICS summit is, what does it mean for South Africa to be hosting such an event? Simply means economic development. It simply means uh, changing the social economic outlook of our people. You know, South Africa, led uh, by the African National Congress, we are uh, given a mandate by South Africans to work for peace in the world, work for stability. So that peace and stability, that's what able us to uh, guarantee the prosperity. That's why our, vi our vision, uh, actually our revolution that we are pursuing as African National, National Congress is the unit of our people uniting them beyond the parameters of race and gender uh, to guarantee the democratic uh, dispensation in our country for the country's prosperity. So where there is no order, peace, stability, there is no development. That's why we are concerned. We're quite welcoming the initiative by President and all other African heads of states to reach out to Ukraine and Russia to make sure that uh, there is a peace uh, transition uh, there, there is an amicable solution to the problem um, by people sitting around the table. So we are uh, that country that has shown the world um, out of the worst uh, brutal situation of apartheid that we have gone through. But we reached a point where we said we can't uh, be destructive on all what has happened. Let's build on what we have and continue with it. Sit down with your most destructors. Find a solution out of it. And well, where we are now in South Africa, because we didn't start from scratch. We didn't destroy what we had, even if it was built under apartheid for the minority of our country. But we're expanding that to get to, to get into all our people in our country, making it a point that the oil and sand are benefiting to the project of development. So those are sort of initiatives. So these multi uh, and, um, national uh, platforms are helping us to interact. We are living under the globalized village. This is the globalization. So when you reach this, you are opening up the market. So cars that are being manufactured here uh, can be able to reach a market of more than 1.5 billion in India, 1.3 or 4 billion in China, as well as Russia. Those are big markets that we have. So we can't work alone here. Uh, we can't be excluded to the world. So these are things that we are doing. So for province like Eastern Cape, you are now actually being integrated to bigger markets uh, with all things that we are trying to do and uh, also looking at other areas uh, to industrialize our province and see to it that our people are no longer leaving our province to look for greener pastures elsewhere. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.